You're listening to Encounter, an offering of sacred meditations made possible by listeners like you. Visit our website at encounteringpeace.org to learn more about how you can encounter the divine presence of God throughout your day. You may be familiar with Gary Chapman's book, Five Love Languages. The love languages are quality time, words of affirmation, gifts, touch, or an act of service. My wife and I read that book several years ago, and it was life-changing for our relationship. My love language is words of affirmation. She loves gifting me with sweet words of affirmation towards me, so I just assumed that was her love language too. Turns out, it's not. It's acts of service. And that opened up a whole new way for me to show her my love by doing little things around the house. I mean, who knew you could show love by simply taking out the trash? So how do you like receiving love? And perhaps a better question is, how do you like showing love? And is that way customized to the person that you are loving? Well, this meditation from 1 John chapter 4 is a reflection on love languages, how we receive love, and how we share it with others. So to begin your meditation, find a place to be open before your Creator, a spot to be vulnerable. We will be together in this divine retreat for about 15 minutes, a silent sanctuary for you to be loved, and a place to demonstrate love. For now, allow your breathing to settle and your eyes to close without effort. Just allow your intentions to shift from the world to the eternal, peeling away the disturbances of the world to reveal God at loving rest within you, centering on this present moment of love from God, Spirit, and Son. Continue in this time of reflection by responding to this passage from Romans chapter 12. And as I lead us, respond simply, Lord God, help me show love with action and truth. May God bless the reading of his word. Let your love be genuine, abhor what is evil, and hold fast to what is good. Lord God, help me to show love with action and truth. Love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Lord God, help me to show love with action and truth. Do not be slothful in zeal. Be fervent in spirit to serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation. And be constant in prayer. And Lord God, Help me to show love with action and truth. Rest here for a moment as you encounter God approaching you to love you. Encounter Him as He penetrates your mind, your heart, and your soul. As His presence permeates your very being, encounter Him as He approaches you now. When you receive a gift, are you always thankful, honestly? Have you ever shown love and been disappointed how it was returned to you? Or was it returned at all? How do you feel receiving a cookie cutter gift, one identical to all the others? No special thought was given from the giver to the one receiving it. 
again, be honest with your answers. There's no judgment. You are safe here. And now, become even more intentionally aware of God's love, alert to His Spirit, and mindful of Christ through your breathing. Take several deep, complete belly breaths, just one after the other for a moment. Breathe in deeply. Notice how each breath is unique, isn't it? Each pace a bit different. Some shallow, some deep. But each designed to satisfy your body's needs at that moment. Continue to center on your breathing. Thoughts of disappointment or distractions may appear, and that's natural. Not to worry. I give you permission to have them, but don't dwell on them or give them any power. Instead, allow your thoughts to drift easily from satisfaction to disappointment for a moment, and then back to satisfaction. From disappointment to being gratified with the love of God. Take a moment and experience how God loves you and how you love Him. Continue as you center on the love and care of God by listening to this, the first of three divine readings. Listen carefully to this letter written by the Apostle John. The key purpose of John's epistle was to give believers assurance of their salvation and God's love. So, this message is for you too, then, isn't it? Now cherish each word for you from John through the Holy Spirit from 1 John chapter 3, verse 18, from the New Living Translation. My dear child and friend in the faith, remember to not merely say that you love others, but rather show your love by the truth and by your actions. What emotions did that stir as you opened this letter from John? Well, listen once more from Holy Scripture for a specific word or thought or maybe even an image. Dear children, let's not merely say that we love each other, but let us show the truth by our actions. Did anything surprise you? What word, thought, or image came to mind? Well, let that become your contemplation for this next minute.
Allow this second expanded divine reading from the New King James Version to be a prayer. A prayer to always be mindful of ways to show love to others, to show love with action and truth. Dear Heavenly Father, I know that you love me because your Son laid down his life for me. So by that example, help me to show the truth of my love for others by my actions and by my willingness to live for everyone. For even if I have all the world has to offer, but I close my heart to a friend in need, how can your love abide in me? So let me not love in word or in tongue, but in deed and in truth. Here and now, I claim this truth and its application into my life. In the name of our Lord and my Savior, Jesus Christ, amen. For this next minute, meditate on John's words. Let them be your prayer now, too, a prayer of quiet moments to consider how you can show your love to those around you. As you listen now to this wider passage, simply rest in the presence of God. Be passive and just enjoy God. Settle into his presence as you listen now a third time from the New International Version. This is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us. And we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers and sisters. If anyone has material possessions, and sees a brother or sister in need, but has no pity on them, how can the love of God be in that person? Dear children, let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and in truth. This is how we know that we belong to the truth and how we set our hearts at rest in his presence. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. What did you encounter in this passage? something new or something familiar? Well, reflect for a moment on that encounter. While resting in imaginative contemplation, consider the truth found in Psalm chapter 139 how God formed your inward part and knit you together in your mother's womb, created you a unique creation. Who better knows your thoughts, desires, and longings? How did God design you to receive love? How do you know you are loved? Maybe when someone shows you quality time or shares words of affirmation. Maybe when you receive a gift or when you hold someone close maybe when someone does something for you, an act of service. Well, God's one, only, true, unique, customized, and only one of his kind gift to you in Christ is designed for you and your salvation. So take this minute as a time of contemplation to reflect on how you know you are loved by God through Christ. Is it the time God gives you, the words he shares, the gift that he offers, maybe his embrace, or the sacrificial act of service on the cross. How do you know the love of God? Take all the time that you need. He is in no rush, nor should you be.
Stay here for a while longer, centering on how you can better show love by your actions and truth. Be mindful of moments to be aware of showing love as God shows his love to you. How are you reminded of the love of God through Jesus? And how might God use you to show the gift of Christ to another on your path today? Ponder that, and when you're ready, whether at dawn or dusk, watch with great expectation for time to stop and heaven reveal the gift of Christ, for it will be then and there you will encounter the love of God and his one and only Son. Let me pray this closing benediction and blessing over you to remember to not merely say that you love others, but rather show your love by the truth and by your actions. So may you encounter the care of Christ, the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, and the abiding love of God now and forever. Amen.